Two grandmothers were robbed inside their home. Their family, friends, and neighbors, you can imagine, were pretty angry. Yeah, they were, but instead of retaliation, they went with redemption and called the Wish Patrol in for help. News 8's Brooke Martin reports. In early December, a pair of grandmothers woke up to find their home had been broken into, their belongings and their peace of mind stolen. The Wish Patrol quickly got to work to show these grandmothers the community has their back. Sisters Thelma and Beatrice have been through a lot together. At 88 and 98 years of age, they've had a front row to the rise of Indianapolis, including the Pacers' reign of the ABA. Since 1955, they've lived together under one roof. But just weeks before Christmas, as they were asleep, the house under that roof was broken into. I was upstairs and she hollered up there and said, Thelma, the TV in the kitchen is gone. I was really afraid. I was just thankful to be alive. The community was outraged. We care about this 88-year-old and this 98-year-old. They, they represent the fabric of our society. We covered the crime and the concern. Her thieves target a pair of sisters, grandmothers, on the near north side. Tonight, City County Councilor William Duke Oliver teaming up with a local pastor to figure out what can be done here. And then the Wish Patrol decided to help carry the burden. Hello. Hi. We heard your story and we want to make it right. So this is the Wish Patrol. And we are here to bring the community together to say, we got your back. Neptune Society has another TV for you, okay? So here is Mike Neff with Neptune Society. <laughs> we don't want you to have to fight over the channels, so we've got you another TV here to replace them. We're so happy to do this for you. This is just amazing. I'm telling you, this is amazing. I didn't know this many people cared about us. What is watching TV when you can't be comfortable? So Jeff Godby with Godby Home Furnishings said, I'm going to give you guys $500 to get some new furniture. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Thank there you go. I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. Here's a $500 gift. We'll get anything you want up at Godby's. Come on up and see us. We'll be happy to make you comfortable. Oh, thank you. so right. nice. You're very you deserved. Thank you. I'm yep. telling you. You're very deserved. This is there you go. Amazing. You need a new chair. You need a new bed. You need a new mattress, something like that. Just come see us, all right? All right. We don't want to give you all of this and still have you feel unsafe in your home. Right? So Simply Safe is donating an entire home security system for this house. We are talking doorbell cameras, sensors on all the windows and doors that will alert police immediately if anyone tries to get in. We have uh, one more thing. We heard that you're Pacers fans, and the Pacers happen to be in town, and you are getting a Pacers VIP experience. Darnell Hillman is here. You did. Yes. Oh, it's so good to see you. You still up on the team. Let's go. On behalf of Pacers Sports and Entertainment, we're so devastated to hear what happened and heard you were such a big fan. We just wanted to be here to support. And Advanced Limo will pick you up and take you to the game, okay? So. And I will be your host all evening long while you're there. I want to hug everybody. Uh, <laughs> God bless you. We, we love you and we uh, want you to know that we are here for you and that um, we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that you feel safe in your own home. I ain't never seen nothing like it. We are just so happy to meet you and and hopefully turn this story around and redeem it a little bit. Where are you? Ready to be turned around. Okay. You see, the spirit of the season lives in each of us, in the local business owner who gives. The former NBA star who loves, the reverend who fights for justice, and the family members who always show up. You think there's no good people in the world anymore because so many things happen. But since this happened to us, it just seemed like there's so many good people in the world that you didn't even know until this happened. It makes you feel so loved.
Since we first surprised the grandmothers, they say they feel much safer in their home. If you know of someone deserving of a Wish Patrol surprise, nominate them. Email us at wishpatrol at wishtv.com. Wow. All the feels right there, right? Broke every single time. I know you're used to, you watch it over and over, but just me seeing it here, it's broke every single time. Brooke Martin bringing the tears. This is amazing. <laughs> That's I, great. Uh, so, I, I covered that story. Right, initially. Initially. And you know, when, when you meet those two, the two grandmothers, you just walk in and you, and I can't tell you, usually when I walk into houses, you don't feel at home right away. Mm -hmm. When I walked into their house, it, it was a home. And it just, they immediately sat down, offered me you know, anything to drink, anything I wanted, and I just thought we've we've got to help these people. And it's just so heartwarming to see to see those two women be helped. Oh, love that story. Good stuff. And be sure to join Brooke this Sunday. Um, she revisits her favorite Wish Patrol moments from the past year in the Wish Patrol holiday special that is this Sunday at 4 p.m. You can catch it right here on Wish TV. We'll be right back.